Hey guys, DB right here, and welcome to What If Asha Had a Daughter. This is the next one, continuing right where we left off. It had been three years of training for our Saiyan duo, Kakarot, and Bash, the daughter of Fasha. It is now the day of the tournament. Both of them have arrived on time and have registered. And well, Kakarot is a little bit surprised to see Tian Shinhan and Chiaotzu, but is quite looking forward to taking them on. A L- little bit of payback for what they did to him, yes? That still happened to Kakarot. As we know, Bash had our own little journey that we covered in the previous part. And well, which one of them was stronger? Well, we would find out pretty quickly as um, we pretty much get to the tournament finals as um, Yamcha goes up against Tien and gets his leg broken, much like in the original. And of course, Jackie Chan defeating Man Wolf with help of the Moon Boy Krillin. <laughs> I had to mention that. It's funny. And then we had Chaozu versus Krillin. Went exactly the same way. Now, of course, there's no palm put in this match. Kakarot and Bash are in it against each other right off the bat. And it's a pretty intense match between the two Saiyans. And um, the skill between the two has caught Tien and Master Shen completely by surprise. Not only that, it's also caught Roshi and the others by surprise as well. They have improved tremendously. In fact, Kakarot had improved so much to the point that Bash had to consider grabbing Kakarot's tail in order to paralyze him. However, as we know from the original, Kakarot got rid of that weakness. It didn't work, and he's able to get Bosch with a surprising kick. Unfortunately, it doesn't send her out of the ring because she can fly. And so can Kakarot. So, Tien and Master Shen are surprised, surprised that there are more out there that can fly. And so, yep, Tien and Master Shen are pretty much working out right then and there that they're going to be a lot harder to defeat and can understand now why Tao was beaten by the duo. Oh, don't worry, he still wants revenge. But in the end, Bash still proves to be the better fighter at this point, eliminating Kakarot from the, from the tournament. She moves on to the semi-finals. And of course, the other semi-final match, we get Tien and Jackie Chan which goes exactly like it does with the original, including Roshi trying to preach to Tien and telling him that he's been following a false master and being sent down the dark path. And, much like the original, it is getting to him. Now, Bash has a friendly match with Krillin, and um, she's definitely not going all out at this point. She went... She definitely utilized a lot more effort battling with Kakarot in the first round. And, well, Krillin is sort of a little bit upset by this. So he tries to um, force her to stop holding back. And, well, Krillin, you're going to regret that because when she decides to stop pulling her punches, um, yeah. Krillin is sent, knocked out with a knockout shot. I was gonna, I was gonna send him out of the ring, but Kakarot got thrown out of the ring. 
So we'll 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 knock Krillin out. But fa- Papash can respect how far Krillin has come as a fighter and a martial artist. You know him. You know, not being a Saiyan. And so that means we've got Tian Shinhan and ba- Bush in the final round. Now it sort of starts off similar to the fight between Goku and Tien in the original story, except Bash is having a lot more fun with it, and Tien's getting a bit more frustrated because he knows she's got more in the tank than this, and be- actually begins to be getting even more frustrated when Chaozu starts paralyzing Bash and him beating on her more easily. Why don't you fight back? And eventually he puts two and two together and Tien decides he's not going to be some merciless killer. He wants to win the tournament. He wants to be the champion. And so, just like in the original, Master Shen is um, projected from ringside thanks to uh, Master Roshi's Kamehameha. And so with that, Bash and Tien continue the match, and like in the original, Tien resorts to eventually using the Tri-Beam and blowing up the arena. However, this is where things sort of become a big mistake for Tien, because um, she se- he seemed to have forgotten the fact that Bash can fly as well. And um, T- that blast had taken a lot out of Tien. And since Bosch is stronger than Kakarot at this point, she's still got a little bit more in reserve. How she's able to hit Tien with a Kamehameha, sending him cometing out of bounds. Bosch is the world martial arts champion. I don't know why I did a Roshi voice there. I think it's just funny how Roshi did that in the pre does that in the previous tournament. I am the champion. But now, nah, this time, Bosch wins the tournament. They've made new friends and Well, to be nice, Bosch does treat Tien and Chaozu to dinner. However, Kakarot has realized he've, he's left the Power Pole and the Dragon Ball behind. And well, just like in the original, Krillin offers to go back for it. And this puts a worried feeling inside Kakarot. Not so much Bosch Bosch thinks oh, he can, you know, it's Krillin. Krillin's pretty tough, pretty strong. But however, Kakarot suddenly senses the life force of his friend fading away and fading fast. He can't hold it in anymore as he runs from the restaurant and goes back to the tournament himself to check on his friend. And just like in the original, Krillin is dead, murdered by some assailant that took the Dragon Ball. Bosch and the others quickly join Kakarot, and Bosch is equally as angry and furious. And well, it's not just Kakarot going after Tambourine in this timeline, it is Bosch as well. Excuse me a second. Ah. And I think, for at least right now, that's actually where we're going to leave things. 
So what do you guys think? Did you enjoy this part of the story? That we actually had Bosch win it all this time? And what do you think about two kid size Saiyans going after Tambourine and being around for the King Piccolo saga? I think we have a lot to look forward to. Alright, catch you guys later. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys again next time. And of course,